Mac HD tutorials here and it's a JavaScript tutorial and today we're going to be going over uh, conditioned statements <clears throat> so we're going to make a new file make a new file just name it index no, let's open it So, let that load. I'm just going to change this to our tutorial name. Condition statements. So, in the body, we're going to make a uh, JavaScript tag. So, we're going to do script. You want to put language Java script, and we're also going to put type text JavaScript. Once that's done, let's just end it, and we're going to start. So, last tutorial we went over uh, how to make variables on our first tutorial. So we're gonna make it two variables. We're gonna make one called the var. Um, oh, almost forgot something. You gotta end it right here. There we go. Now we're gonna make a new. I mean, we're gonna make a new variable called uh, username and one called password. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna use prompt. And uh, make the user input something. So we're gonna do username equals prompt <laughs> again with the bash spelling. Enter your username. All right, and then we're gonna do password equals prompt. enter your password so basically this is going to be like a login system not really so secure but you can still use it and uh, now we're going to set up the condition so it's basically what we use is if and else so if, if the username and password equal this display this else do something else so I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna explain it so I'm gonna do if and these are called conditions what I'm gonna what I'm typing inside the if brackets so I'm gonna do if username equals equals Mackenzie or whatever you want and password equals equals password so you're going to end the brackets and I'm going to put curly brackets curly brackets and now I'm going to explain what's happening so you're just going to input two two things right inputs to uh, two uh, strings and then after he inputs his password and, and email I mean his password and username he's gonna it's gonna go over here and it's gonna check so it's gonna check if username is equal to Mackenzie and also if password is equal to password then it's gonna do the statements these are called conditions it's gonna do the statements inside here statements go inside there else else goes right here else brackets for else else do this not true so basically if this state if this condition equals true it's gonna do this so if the password does equal uh, password and the username does equal Mackenzie we want it to display alert login valid if it's not true, 
alert. You you have entered. Oh my God! Entered something wrong. All right. So we're gonna test this real quick. Press live. Enter your username. It's a live prompt, as you see. Enter your username, and we're gonna put Mackenzie. Enter your password. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Enter your password. Password. Don't mind spam. And login valid. So now I'm gonna check out the code again. I'm trying to explain it a bit better and see how much time I have. Yeah, still have enough time. So this is what's happening. We make two variables of our username of our password then we give them then we give them a value basically and the value is what the user is going to enter that's why we use prompt so we're doing username equals whatever the username enters then password equals whatever the username enters so we're going to do if whatever the username I mean whatever the user enters is equal to Mackenzie or I mean I mean and this is the and symbol and pass password is equal to password do this else if the if this is not true like let's I'm gonna show you an example where it's not gonna be true I enter the username and the password is right you have entered something wrong so basically the statement is not the condition is not true so it goes straight to the elf it ignores this and uh, Basically, our tutorial is done. Next tutorial, we're going to be doing else if statements, and that's a bit, bit tricky, but uh, I'll make sure you guys understand it. And uh, peace out, guys.